Yo, what is going on guys? It's JD here, back with another 2K video. So today guys, we are going to be bringing you some silver sniping tips and tricks and the best players to go for, the best teams to be looking out for as well. So we are here on my second account. Obviously, these are not my best players. On my main account, I have a lot more, obviously. But it is helpful to have all the collections empty so we can just see out of these players you can search for them here and there and we can easily show you which ones you need to be going for so the first team is actually the 76ers which is very handy as they are first so they have four players four silvers that are over 4k in value so we've got this Shamit bloke here at 4k on the dot which is pretty decent and then we've got Zare Smith at 10k <laughs> these silvers go for so much so what i have guys is a big spreadsheet with all these players on of the highest value so i can see which ones i need to be checking on the daily to see if there are any opportunities for snipes or to bid on them to get them for cheaper so moving on in the 76 collection we have got amir johnson another one at around the 4k mark and there's only three of them on the market so that guy is going to be expensive and they tj mcconnell also around that 4k mark so this 76ers collection is an expensive one and it's definitely one to keep an eye out when you are sniping for silvers a lot of good values we have i have picked up a couple of them for about 2k and made some decent profit on them so moving on to the next one it is going to be the balls and we're going to start with cameron payne so cameron payne coming in at a nice cool 9k for a silver it's ridiculous the prices at which people are paying. And moving on to Felicio Cristiano, he is around 8k, 7.5k as well. So just for these two here, it's like 15k. So the profit margins, if you get a snipe, are absolutely massive. If you pick one of these guys up for 1, 2, 3k, you're making about 100% profit on that card. You've got Chandler Hutchinson here at 5k. Uh, Drew, uh, not Drew Holiday, Justin Holiday, sorry, at 10k. There's another one coming in at a huge price. It's coming down to 8.5k there, but that is still a hell of a hefty card and a hefty price to pay. And then Denzel Valentine up at 8.5k as well. So you've got four massive, you've got five massive silvers there in the Bulls collection. So that is definitely one to keep an eye out for. And then we move on to the collection that you guys want to be looking out for the most. It is the Cleveland Cavaliers. So we're going to be looking at seven players out of this collection. And we're going to start with Isaiah Taylor. So he comes in at around 4K. Not too bad. Moving on. Sam Decker. Another one at 5K. David Nwaba. Nwaba. Oh, I'll butcher that. 3.5K. So he's kind of cheap-ish. Not really. Zizic at 3K. Kyle Korver. There's only two up. And the lowest bin is 13k. This guy is so expensive. It is unreal. Moving on, they don't get cheaper. Well, they do get cheaper, but not by much. Channing Fry at 7k. And Seti Osman at around 5k. JR Smith is quite cheap. I believe 3.5k. And then Tristan Thompson rounding it off at 4k. So this collection is super expensive some of these players are just ridiculous i'm not sure if their prices will come down you'd hope that they do eventually but <laughs> for now you definitely want to keep your eyes widely on the cavaliers set because that is one with the most players that have good value moving on we're going to come all the way down to the knicks collection and we're going to start with where is he ron baker this guy at around i think he's less than 8k and 7k there we go he's about 6k about 5k, so about 5k for Mr. Ron Baker. Not too bad, but still pretty expensive. And then we come to Frank. I am not going to pronounce his second name. That is not something I want on the internet. He is around 5k as well. So, well, it's about 4k actually. He's coming down. About 4k for this card. Pretty good value if you can get a nice little snipe on him. Kevin Knox coming in at around 5k. And then Emmanuel Moudier. I'm not sure on this guy. He's 9.5k there, but that one wasn't there a while ago. And I have seen them go for about 10 to 15k. So, And as you can see, there's only two on the market 
So this is a super, super rare card. And then Trey Burke as well at 6k. So the Knicks, another great set for sniping. You want to just go to the auction house, set your sniping filters at silver, and then a minimum and maximum buyout of around 3 Okay, and then if you pick up any of these guys I've listed for less than that, you are going to be making a very, very nice profit indeed. So, moving on to the Magic 1 over. We do have one bronze here, but he ain't worth shit, so there's no point selling him. Starting with the silvers, expensive ones, 7k for Ken Birch. Again, I have picked him up before for quite a bit cheaper than he is going for. And you can get some very nice snipes and some very nice profit because people don't go through the hassle of searching through all of these players going slowly as you do on the auction house and they just can't be bothered so they just chuck him up for a cheap price hoping for a quick sale and if you're quick enough you can make some decent profit terence ross one of the most expensive silvers in the game as you can see there's only one up when I looked in my research, he was 8k on bin, but he's clearly gone on that, so God knows what you want to pay for Terence Ross, but it's going to be expensive, guys, that is for sure. Gerald Martin next up, he is around 6k, so this is another very expensive set. Back in 2k17, the Magic were one of the most expensive sets, and that is carrying on into 2k19 with Jerry and Grant at around 6k as well, so... Yeah, Knicks, Magic, Cavs and the Bulls are four teams you really, really want to be keeping your eyes on. They are the four out of the Eastern Conference that I focus on the most when I'm sniping and when I'm just checking open bids, making sure I'm bidding low and you can get some decent snipes on bids. You know, you can get them for really cheap because a lot of people don't wait around for bids, they just go for buy nows, they don't actually monitor the market so you need to be taking advantage of that. And then let's just move down to the Wizards, who have some of the most expensive ones by far. So, starting with Yamahimi, he is coming in at 9k. Moving on to Jody Meeks, wherever he is, down here. He is 13, 14k. And then we also have Tro uh, Troy Brown Jr. at 8k. Those three are big hitters. Obviously, guys, you want to be focusing on the players with the highest value because there is a bigger potential for profit and the biggest potential to undercut people if you do see a snipe pop up. So, they are going to be my little tips for sniping from Silvers, these four teams here, and then a keep an eye out on the Wizards, because they have some big, big hitters. So, I will be doing part two of this if it goes down well on the Western Conference. Obviously, there's some amazing players over there as well that have great value and that you can pick up. For very nice prices so i hope you guys did enjoy this quick little sniping video be sure to leave a like if you want some more and yeah hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like subscribe and i'll see you next time peace